Hello everyone. I am Anirudh Arora from College Sunia. We are here at Baba Mustad University to conduct an interview of Dr. Arish Yadav. Hello, sir. Good morning. Uh, very good morning, sir. So I have few questions for you, sir. Okay. So you have held a key positions at education institutes, right? Throughout your professional career, sir. So what are the key factors that you keep connected uh, with the education sector? Prior to coming to this position, I had worked for a long period at Kurukshetra University, Kurukshetra. I had worked there as a dean, social sciences, director, UGC Academic Staff College, director, UGC Gandhian Study Center, director, AIS Coaching Institute, and chairman, Department of Political Science, Department of Defense and Strategic Studies, and Department of Sociology. Along with this, later. I worked as a Dean Academic Affair at PLC Supo at Rohtak and also I am Emeritus Professor at Jain Vishubharati University Ladno. As far as my coming to this is, throughout the career I have been teaching at different levels and different position. That is why I am attached to the teaching profession. Alright sir, let's move to the other question. So being a part of Baba Mustard University as a VC, as a Vice Chancellor, so what is the philosophy of leadership, sir? And how would you uh, describe your leadership style, sir? Basically, I believe in collective leadership of the stakeholders, including the teachers, the parents, the administration. Apart from this, I wish that all the administrations should be run democratically and the government should be transparent so that the growth and visibility of the university is very much there. So I consider it is a joint exercise with all the stakeholders that is more beneficial for the growth of any university. Okay, sir. Very, very successful. So uh, let's, let's move to the other question. So uh, basically, what are what are all courses available uh, in Baba Masnath University and how many total seats are uh, here? Basically, it is a multi-faculty university. We run 80 plus courses in 10 faculties and 33 departments with an intake of 10,000 plus students. And also we include the courses like Ayurveda, Pharmacy, Law, Education, Engineering, Management and Humanities. And we have a huge number of alumni, nearly 25,000 alumni are connected with our university. So uh, let's move to the other question. Being a, a part of uh, Masnad University as a Vice Chancellor, so how do you basically strategize and uh, you can say plan and plan according to the marketing and administrations of your university? All the key programs are decided by different academic bodies of the university before the launch of such program. And later on, we market it through the print media and social media and also connecting with our alumni association. Okay. Alright sir, uh, let's move on to the other question which is uh, regarding the education system in India. And uh, it's also basically uh, See, the education system in India and other foreign countries are structured very differently, right? And in your experience, what can you inbound student, you can help student to gain in the system? Actually, present day is an era of globalization. And in this, we are also under the new education policy, connecting our education system globally. So we have also adopted the CBCS pattern with flexible entry and exit so that all the students can take their grades benefit in this part of the world or the other universities elsewhere. But apart from this, the basic fact of this university is that our focus is also on humanitarian ethics and spirituality as the basic with the academics. Very good. Sir. So uh, let's talk about the insights. Okay and move on to uh, if you have any insights into how the university could uh, be more welcoming to students of different races and economic backgrounds. Can you okay. please elaborate on this? Okay. Uh, 
Our university is a very inclusive platform for the all strata of the society. And not only this, we also provide certain scholarships, certain benefits, fees reduction, and also sometimes fees waiver to the very needy students. And in inclusiveness, not only we are limited to the state of Haryana, we are catering all over the India with caste, communities, creed. We don't distinguish that because here the due to spirituality, this has been the focus that every human being has a similar value or equal value. That is why we honor everybody coming from any part of the country. Let's move on to the other question, which talks about the roles and responsibilities to the universities and towards the students. Basically, my role is to provide guidance, mentoring and providing the blueprints for the future uh, through the academic activities. So in that, we are also having planning through different academic bodies and we also discuss from time to time the stakeholders and particularly interacting with the student and then we decide what is more beneficial for the students and community and to the parents and ultimately for the name of the university. So let's talk about some priorities uh, which you think can uh, be over in the next 10 years. We will like to make it an excellent center and particularly the resource for traditional knowledge source, particularly in alternative medicine because we have the long tradition of Ayurvedic college, first Ayurvedic college of Haryana started since 1957. So, we carried a pharmacy, we carried other kind of the courses. So, we want to create it as a hub for the traditional knowledge source in the country. Apart from this, we also want that this university should grow as a multi-faculty university and comes into first 100 university in the country in the next 10 years. All right, very good, So, let's, let's move on to the vision that you have for the university and has it evolved over time? And how far uh, along in implementing that vision you, you are seeing? Already existing vision I have explained through a number of mm. questions. But my association with this university is quite new as Vice Chancellor as far as Vice Chancellor's position is concerned. Now I wish to attain all the above objectives in the near futures. Alright sir. So let's move on to uh, a question which tells about so basically, what do you like uh, people to know about the university and uh, it can also be a question that explains about the university. Because people must know that this is not a, a formal kind of university or a, a university which is generally uh, linking itself merely to the academics. Rather, it is a university with a unique nature of blending academic excellence with spirituality. And we have a motto to serve the country in a very harmonious atmosphere. So this one to create the social milieu in a positive manner as well as breeding the youth for a kind of new India where the academics and spirituality can come together and we have a good future for the country. Hi, sir. Thank you so much for the questions that you answered for us. Thank you. Thank you very much.